Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Julian Routh. I'm here with Andrew Holman. Uh, we're on the site of Duquesne's loss today against the Massachusetts Minutemen. Uh, Andrew, weird game. Came down to the end there, but uh, Duquesne could not pull it out. It looked like the Dayton game, to be honest with you. Uh, what do you think of the takeaway? Yeah, I mean, they started off the game. They were down 3-0, and they went on a big run. They were up 15-3 early in the game, and then it just started falling apart. You know, they took a 10-point leave, I believe, in the halftime, so they played a pretty good first half. Uh, I mean, foul trouble hurt both teams, I think, a lot. At the end of the game, Duquesne was forced to go real small with LD playing center. But yeah, I think it's just another example of Duquesne not being able to close out a game. Uh, they let Hines go off for 37 points, I believe it was, and you're not going to be able to win games when you let the other team score over 100. Yeah, now when Massachusetts uh, upset VCU a couple nights ago, Trey Davis went off and Hines went off, and you have to stop those guys to be able to win the game. They did in the first half tonight. Uh, they held Trey Davis to 1 for 17 from the field to start off the game. Uh, in the second half, though, it looks like they had a different team coming out. Yeah, Davis and Hines, they both score over 25 points. And I think I think the VCU game, honestly, was a huge uh, motivation booster, you know, a sense of confidence for the Minutemen because, you know, they were kind of struggling, but that game gave them a good win over a great team in the conference. And, I mean, they're going to be a scary team come tournament time based on what we saw tonight. All right, thank you very much for watching.